Hello, welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Let's go. Plates and sauces, etc. Still not drinking cups. Have another tea set, I would have thought, but why? Still not drinking cups. Um, don't know why. Name coming up in war, an impartial matter. Ah, okay, so it's going to be Evelyn with the N rising a little bit to give it evenly. Tasty struggle on the field, good to hold back in fact. Sensitive information, European community in bizarre protest. Okay, so it's an anagram of protest around the EC, and that's going to give us top secret. Okay. Uh, serious about credit, it is ruined. Hmm. Credit can sometimes be CR as an abbreviation, but I'm not seeing how that works. Meat in fringes of fire. Okay, well, that's going to be flambe. In the fringe letters of the word fire, F-E, we, um, we can put meat, lamb, and then something served lit, it's served flambe. So if we look at this long one. I'm going to eat starters of real authenticity, Indian spices for dip. Uh, Tara Masalata? that be right? Computer's giving up the ghost. Right, I'm going to eat starters of... Masala or Indian spices. So the start of I'm going is tata, as in goodbye. And that's going around the starting letters of real and authenticity, this R and this A, followed by masala, which of course is an Indian spice. Wow, <laughs> tricky. <laughs> uh, after uprising, foolish to quit German city. Um, well, I'm thinking Potsdam here because I can see that could be mad reversed and it looks like it's stop at this time. So it's a reversal of mad stop for foolish to quit. Okay, so anti-war protester, that sounds like pacifist to me, curtailed agreement, one with weapon in hand. Um, well, a pact is an agreement, one is the letter I, and then a weapon in hand, I suppose they're saying that's a fist, so pacifist looks right there. Uh, family planning in the end, sound as a bell. Well, family is your clan, and then planning at the end is the final letter of planning. That's a G, so that gives us clang, which is obviously fits the definition there. Back hopper to lose tail. Well, something goes to and fro. Fro means to go back, and so frog without its last letter there. Energy entering a crowd, a tiny shape shifter. Yeah, maybe amoeba. I can see that's got a mob A. Yes, A mob A for A crowd A around E for energy. Reshuffle by Tories, that's a serious state. Sobriety. That sounds like the anagram there of by Tories. 12 across. Postprandial drink, like coffee, ultimately, suits when knocked back. Postprandial drink, digestive. Okay, so here is another example where I've just guessed the answer, now I'm going to try and work out why. Like coffee, ultimately, suits when knocked back. Fits is knocked back there. I can see that for suits. Coffee, ultimately, that must be this E. And if you like something, you dig it. 
So yes, dig, then E for the last letter of coffee, and a reversal of fits for suits. Maybe I'll get this one now. Serious about credit, it is ruined. Um, serious about credit. No, this isn't an anagram, is it? No, no P. Um, Let's read out again. Tasty, struggle on the field, scrum, scrumptious, that would work. Um, good to hold back in fact. Pious. Okay, struggle on the field is a scrum. Then pious to hold back in fact. <laughs> the back letter of the word fact is a T. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful structure, that clue. Good to hold back in facts. I love that. So back the back letter in the word fact is how this T is being clued. Have one more look at this. Decrepit. That would be the answer, wouldn't it? So why? So I can see that's got R E in the middle of it. Serious deep. Okay, so something's deep, it's serious. About C R for credit, and then just it is plain there. And it means it's something's ruined, decrepit. Went back for a moment. Went could be split, couldn't it? Split second. My, another very, very nice clue. So, went back is such a natural expression, but here you need to read each word separately and find out, find completely, you know, different meanings from how they're, me they're meant in the in the simple in the phrase went back. So went, if you went, you split. And second, if you second the motion, you back the motion. A beating ancient Greek volleyball team, perhaps close to defeat. Beating. Go now. Uh, in Slayer, assume a possible offender. Um, I don't know that one either. Sixteen down. Great author has little time for criminals. Um, again, nothing's occurring to me there. After better, rock music for something spicy. Um, yes, that could be capsicum. So if you better something, you cap it. And then an anagram of the word music, rock music. So again, this is a bit like went back. The set is finding very natural phrases and using them in wordplay. So rock music, rock is an anagram indicator there. Butterfly mark, well the butterfly is a comma, so that's a double definition. And instantly when we look at this instruction here, you know, this two is very likely this is an E, so it's probably en masse, I'm thinking. Arrangement of names, some without order altogether. Yeah. So just to explain how the clue works there, it's an anagram of the word names, and then the word sum without OM for order of merit uh, at the end, just leaving the S and the E. Poorest off, okay, this looks like an anagram. Poorest, welcoming very, okay, so it's gonna be an anagram of poorest around a V, and a brief stay is a stopover. Relatively straightforward. Uh, let's try this one ending in M. Wind is returning, or wind is returning, low and menacing at first. Well, menacing at first is probably this M, isn't it? The only reason I'm hesitating there is low can obviously mean moo, uh, and a reversal of moo would, would give us two O's here and here. Let's have a look at this one. Lines, it's probably owed, I'm thinking, often dedicated to defending harbours. Yes, you can see in the in the words to defending, uh, you can see the letters of owed in order. So it's saying that the words to defending harbour, they contain 
the answer. So we do get an O there, which is interesting. Uh, theatre boxes, always the cheapest accommodation. Oh, that must be steerage, just from the definition there. So theatre is the stage, and that's boxing. It's surrounding a word for always, which is here, double E R there. Uh, let's just try and finish over here. Daughter and curious man avoiding a gentle breeze. Man avoiding gentle. I can see that could be. I could take gent out of gentle, and that would give me an le. So I really like that as a construction here. So a breeze is going to be a doddle, isn't it? So daughter, curious is odd. There we go, we've built that up from the wordplay. Celebrate screening a show. Celebrate you revel. If you if that screens or surrounds an A, we get reveal. Grass coated hide of elk smelt. Grass coated hide of elk. Well the hide of elk would be the skin of the elk which could be the outside letters, so I'm wondering about this construction. Smelt. Reeked. Yes, reed is a grass, so that's that looks correct there. In Slayer, assume a possible offender. Swear word? Why? In Slayer. Sword, I suppose sword is a slayer, isn't it? assume, if you assume something you wear it. So swear word looks right there. So beating ancient Greek. An ancient Greek is going to be something like a Theban or a Spartan or a ancient Greek Thebe. Thebes. The best. Beating six of the best maybe. So an ancient Greek volleyball team is six of Thebes. <laughs> Very clever. Uh, and that's followed by the close to defeat. Rather than close to defeat, we need to read that as close to defeat, i.e. the closing letter of the word defeat. Very nice. Uh, right, great author has little time. Well, that little time, I'm thinking, might be that T there. So we need to... Uh, oh, how about bigamist? Big could be great. Martin or Kingsley Amis for the uh, author and bigamist as a criminal. Right, so wind is returning. Low. Ah. Is returning would be SI. And that could be followed by Simoon. <laughs> I can't be right, surely. I've never seen, I don't know this word, if it is right. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh. It's very tempting. The only other al alternative would be if I could think of another word for low that would go in here, which would give me a word that means a, wind, a type of wind. Low could be... Ooh. No, I'm going to go for it. YOLO, as they say on the internet. Yeah, it's right. Good. Okay, so I'll just check the dictionary for what a Simoom is. Okay, it's a hot, suffocating desert wind in Arabia and North Africa. Wow. I didn't know that. So we learn something new every day. That's going to be, uh, uh, well, that's not a bad thing to learn. Um, so I hope this was interesting. Great crossword today. I really liked it. Um, oh, I, I don't think I ever passed tea set, actually. Plates and sauces, etc. Still not drinking cups. It's a brilliant surface. Um, oh, oh, that is brilliant. That is a brilliant clue. Gosh, that's one of my favourite clues of the last few weeks. So, the definition is plates and saucers, etc., as I originally thought. So that's how tea set is coming out. Now, the way to read the rest of it is not drinking. If you're not drinking, you're teetotal. 
and that's TT. So we need to. So what the clue is saying is we put TT, and that's going to cup. It's going to surround a word that means still. Now a word for still is ease. So we've got TT around ease for T set. That is absolutely superb. Um, several very clever clues in the puzzle, as I said before. Um, yeah, definitely a favourite of mine. Um, well done to the setter, well done for me, and I'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.